Hey, hey, hey guys, I'm Earl and I'm your IDI auditor. And I'm Yael, your IDI internal vice president. Yay! Hey! We're here to discuss different brands that we usually use for interior Drafting. design life. Drafting, Drafting. rendering, and, and all that stuff. Although, sabihin man natin na hindi naman nakaka-affect yan, it's in your skills. Girl, no. Let's be honest here. <laughs> it really affects your product sometimes and alam naman natin how major plates can work and how it can affect your plate and your life in general. So let's get through this! Yeah! The first material. Number one. And the number one natin yet? So our first material is T-square! Bui! Bui! So apparently there's two types of T-square. One is wood. The other is plastic. So you call ba? Ano prefer mo? Most prefer to plastic. Ako personally wood. Mas prefer ko yung plastic kasi while you're drafting, nakikita mo yung ginagawa mo. Like, it's transparent. So, like, nakikita mo if, like, magsasmudge siya. Hindi yung kapag naglagay ka na ng line. Mm -hmm. Tapos, usog mo yung T-square mo. Tapos, pag tanggal mo ng T-square mo, like, surprise! Boom! Siya. Okay, that's a very so, good yeah. point though, but <laughs> from someone na nakagamit ng both ng wood and ng plastic, as you can see, sa plastic kasi flat lang siya. Nakita nyo ba to? Kung papansin nyo sa plastic, it's flat. Whereas pag sa wood, may uwang siya na sa baba na may wood. So if you're inking, tapos inangat po siya ng state, medyo hindi siya mag-smudge. Pero be careful lang kasi sometimes when the ink is dried, pag ginanan ganun mo, may mga black. Kita nyo ba to? Ayan, may mga black na natitira, ganun. So sometimes it leaves a mark. Rarely and... happens on a plastic. Yeah, that's like, up Pag sa plastic, mostly ang mga marks na mag-lead dyan is the uh, pencil. Yung exactly. graphite niya. Yeah. Yung, kaya siya magiging madumi. Like my personality. <laughs> <laughs> Me trying to add comedic value. Anyways. So ayan, and just remember to clean your Your materials. Everything, everything, your triangles, your French curves, Yoba. your... Tuwing kailan ka ng dininis. Every time before mo dyan, ako, ako, oh, personally, ganun ako. Kasi okay. ayaw kong madumihan yung tracing paper. Lalo kasi pag tracing paper, di ba, pag like ilang beses mo na na-run over yung yeah. T-square mo, parang may mark sa gilid na makikita mo kung saan yung gumaganon siya. Personally, sa akin kasi, ang gilingan sa ko, like every month, kasi pag like every plate, girl, <laughs> gets ba? So, ayun, T-square! So, our next materials are... Sec pens! Sec pens, yeah! So, sa akin naka-pencil <laughs> case. Naka-pencil case kasi, di ba? I mean, sa mo lalagay sa pencil. Woo! For person, di siyempre, lagay mo ng techness. Lagay mo ng pangalan! I swear, ang dami nang nawawalang cases. Yeah. Versus mabayit mga ka. tao sa biyato. Girl, yung totoo. Ooh! Ooh, shady. Ooh! <laughs> Pero like, let's be honest. Mawala man yan o hindi, it's your fault pa rin naman. Kasi nakalimutan mo siya, let's be honest. And take note, mahalang tech pen. So, take care of your stuff. Oh, Everything. Kasi, pag like, nasa first year ka, of course, mabibigla ka kasi like, super mahal ng materials. Pero like, as you go on from second year to third year, you're gonna realize their value and their worth. Kasi parang, since gamit na gamit mo sila, super sulit. Kung maayos yung materials. Yes. yes. So, ayun. Tech pens, anong brand ba sa'yo yan? For me, I use mix ng tech pens. Stedler and Rotring. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Kasi kung papansin ninyo guys, kasi here's the difference. Pag sa Stedler, wooden, di ba? Wooden ang case. Wooden ang case. Plastic. Wooden. Dude, it's plastic. No. Dude, it's plastic. It's wooden. It's plastic. Sabi ko ma. Oh my god! Basta, point being, it's stronger. Mas malakas siya, mas matibay. Hindi siya gigiba sa... Ano siya, yung plastic niya, yung mga kapal, matibay siya. Compared sa rotring, kasi yung rotring, kapag kunyari, it's what you nest mo siya. Kapag di mo na-feel kung patapos na yung pag-twist mo, parang mababakbak yung dito na part niya. Exactly. And guys, remember to clean your tech pen. Basically, twist this and twist this and taga na yung warm water. That's everything. Warm water. Warm water Maybe and so cotton water. buds. So yeah, that's tech pen, guys. But in terms of quality, Stender. Like line value. Stender. Stender ka. Sorry. Sa Stender, personally, hindi consistent na lines. Yung biglang gumigiba. Yung ganyan. Pero in rotring kasi, medyo consistent yung line value niya. Yung line point B. So if you're looking for durability, go for... Stender. And if you're looking for line value, go for rotting. Pero it's your decision naman if like you want to mix and match like me and Earl. Yeah. Kasi, Kasi meron iba na tech pens from Stedler na maayos talaga. Except yung point one. Sorry Stedler. 
<laughs> Pero mas maayos ang Rotling na point. <coughs> kasi mas matibay siya compared sa Stedler. Kasi yung Stedler, parang pag nahulog mo lang yung point 1, wala na. 700 down the drain. Mm. So yun. Invest in Rotling na point 1. Strongly recommend it. So don't feel obliged na porque, you know, Stedler, Stedler Rotling. Girl, it's yeah. not a dichotomy. It's not a false dichotomy. At the end of the day, gawa mo yan. So, yeah. yeah. Whatever works for you, go down. So, what's your next product? Our next material is fan scale and regular scale. Regular scale, metric scale. Yeah. So, personally, you what's your preference mo when it comes to scales? Fan scale. Same. Same. Bias, fan scale. Same. To be honest, I don't understand how people like this because it's so bulky. So, it's like a little bit like that. Uh, like this one, you can just pop it in your pencil case. At True, okay. true, that's true actually. And if you're gonna inspect something out of like, it, like, okay, oh, like, parang, na, yeah, 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 not yeah. like this one, na parang, that's okay, asa na yun, asa na yun. Ano? That's true. Okay, but point being, sometimes, if you're parang yung malaking area pa lang, ito, syempre, hello. Okay, okay mas okay na siya oh, compared to this one. Pero, pero kasi details. since yung mga plates natin is mostly 15 by 20, there's yeah. really no need to use this. Yeah. Mas gusto ko to kasi mas complete siya. Kasi tingnan mo dito may 1 is to 150. And yun. Eh, yung sa iba kasi wala. Yun. Pero may naririnig akong downside sa fan scale. Da See, the downside with fan scale is yung na, lines. Yung lines niya. Nag yeah. fade. Pero for me, yung ginawa ko kasi nung nag-invest ako sa fan scale, since alam ko na na mag fade yung lines, nilagyan ko siya ng tape para hindi nag fade yung lines. Kasi di ba, pag every time na ginaganon mo siya, nag rub siya against each other yeah. and nag fade siya. So yun, para ma minimize yun. Kaya ko na ng tape. And yun, still alive since first year. Woo! Sa akin naman kasi, pros and cons. Sa metric scale kasi, na ba pros? Kasi to be honest, fan pro, scale talaga. I really don't see a pro. <laughs> see? Ang cons niya, it's bulky. Why do you guys like it? Wait, pro. May isa pong pro. Someone said to me once that they're using this as a ruler. So like, when they mark it, mark, mark, line. Same lang din naman yung ginagawa dito eh. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't Mark get the point. Line. But I am point being, we both like fan scale. Sorry. And everyone behind the camera likes Toblerone <laughs> instead. <laughs> so they're like signing no, no, no. But yeah. So that's the scale for you. Knock, knock, yeah. So magut ka. Matatapos ng show nato. So ka. Who's there? Render. Render. It's going down. I'm yelling. Render. Better. Anyways, hi, hey. <laughs> hi, friend. So yeah, what's our next material, na? Watercolor. Yes, girl. So we have watercolor. We have two kinds of watercolor. We have student grade and professional grade watercolor. Mm -hmm. So for our student grade, we have brown and koi. For our professional grade watercolors, we have the Gansai Tambi and the Holbein. So ano ba yung nag-difference sa ito? Yeah. Yung student grade, more on yung dami niya. And as for the high grade or the professional grade watercolors, more of the pigment. Or the yung parang performance niya when yeah. you put it on paper. So let's try to swatch it. G. G. Let's start off with the beloved brand. So anong color gusto mo? Blue. It's my favorite. Yes. Okay, let's go blue. Try natin siyang is watch. Apply water and... Tignan mo siya. It looks good on my skin. So I use here is cobalt blue. Basically, yeah. <laughs> ganun kasi. Ganun sa siya. Ganun sa siya. No, I'm going to wash makeup tutorials. I'm sorry. Let's apply water and try to swatch it. Yes. So as you can see here, medyo transparent siya. Pero it actually depends on the amount of water you put in natural watercolor, di ba? So let's try with the uh, professional grade watercolor, so... <laughs> as you can see, it's more on pigment. Let's try to swatch this, the Koi watercolor. So Koi, again, is a Japanese brand. Same Sakura. with Gante Kami. <laughs> yeah. So let's try to swatch it. And Holbein, Japanese and Holbein. Ang maganda dito sa 30 colors is meron siyang earth tones. So try natin. Wow! Look! It's so saturated! Actually, kailangan dito madaming tubig. Kasi first and foremost, You really need to work it in para like makuha yung pigment. Yeah! It's called lift. You need to lift the pigment with the water. And may reason bakit water brush yung kasama dito. Kasi it really takes time to lift. Yeah. You have to wet it first then. It's a process. Tapos baka masira pa yung brush niya. So better use the water brush with this one instead of this one. Yeah, it's actually strong. Yeah. Oh, try natin yan yan. Next is the Gansai Tambi. Yes, girl. This is an example of a pan from Gansai Tambi. It's color red. Let's watch it. 
Whoa. Whoa. Super pigmented. Nice. So actually, malalaman mo ang performance ng watercolor when it dries up, di ba? Yeah. Kasi yung papakita naman natin is what it dries up. So, as you can see here, sa prang medyo transparent siya. Kasi dito pa yung skin tone ko. And sa koi naman, you actually have to work it out as makapal talaga. Or you like makuha mo talaga yung color niya. Many water yeah. para ma-lift mo yung pigment. As for these professional grade watercolors, it doesn't really take much para makuha mo yung pigment niya. As you can see, it's full. Not like this one na transparent. So, it's saturated pag professional grade. Color pencils! Color pencils! So, ano yung preferred brand mo for water pencils? Water pencils! <laughs> Fabricastle. Ano Since ba? childhood. <laughs> Kasi ako, to be honest, Prisma eh. Really? Bakit? Burgis. Burgis! <laughs> Kasi let's be honest, ang Prisma is very, very pricey, di ba? Yeah. Ang um, isang 36 colors, it can reach up to 1,000 pesos. Seriously? <laughs> but if you're looking for a more better grade, but in a cheaper brand, you can look oh, for Colleen. I placed mine in this container because it's Colleen. Ganda pa rin. And to be honest, it's more sticky. Yes. Okay, I placed mine in this, and it looks fine. So see here, ayon. Ginagamit ko panta sa kasi yung ganon. Yung cutter. pen cutter. Kasi first and foremost, <laughs> pag sharpen yung ginagamit mo, pati yung dito, yung core, parang sayang. Gets mo ba? So, mas mabuti yung siya na sharpen mo, unti-unti. So, ano ba yung gusto mo sa Faber Castle? First of all, it's cheap. Second of all, it gets the job done. Parang, if you need highlights, kaya naman niya. Very versatile naman siya. Tsaka marami siyang colors kasi di ba yung Faber Castle, like 48, tapos may pa 100 something. That's true. Actually, so, yun, that's true. For a cheap brand, parang dupe ng Prisma color. <laughs> Oo, super. Pero like, if you're looking for quality, I swear, Prisma color can get you done. Super saturated niya. Tapos super dali niya mag-blend in so Unlike many Unlike Faber Castle, medyo mahirap siya i-blend. Actually, this is wax, di ba? Mm -hmm. This is wax. So, Super dali niya mag blend. Ano yung talaga yung pros and cons niya? Ito ang easier to blend, ito yung hardcore. Kung sa pencil, <coughs> siya yung H. H. Ganun 6H. If you are. <laughs> 6H. Like Tapos ito. Mga B. Mga B. Sobra. Ayun lang yun. So yan, ano yung last na product natin? Markers. Yes, markers. The traditional markers. So what are markers good for you? Eskis. Eskis, exactly. And if you're cramming, alam naman natin lahat, you're crammer. And it's good for cramming. Pero alamin mo paano gamitin. Yeah, kasi mahal siya. Kahit yung hindi core color, mahal siya. Pero like, eh, it's worth it. Worth kasi it. yung marker kasi, it's not, hindi siya tulad ng watercolor, watercolor na watercolor Atali talaga. Blend. You have to use other materials such as color pencil, highlighters. Kasi it's really flat if you try it. I mean, let's try it. Gusto mo? Let's swatch it. So let's start with this. Cool gray. Let's start to swatch it. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Note, ang marker kasi is alcohol based. So you have to layer it, layer it, layer it over Just to and get over the over. full color. Kasi, think of it this way. Markers <laughs> are watercolor pens na hindi mo kaya blend. And another good thing about Kure is it has two tips. One is broad and one is... Fine! Yes! Fine is for details, pero it, this works too for details, right? True, yung tip niya. Yeah, you have to be careful with it. No? So, so what about you? This yeah? brand is Touch New. Touch New Sketch Markers. I got this for my friend. Tapos, comes in a set. The quality of these markers are very good for a cheap price. Tapos, when swatch next to color colors, almost exactly the same. Pero mas extensive nga lang yung shades ng color color compared to this one. Also, when you're gonna buy a marker, check nyo yung blendability. Kasi may ibang markers na super hirap mag to the point na apply, apply, apply to yun na siya. So you don't have any chance to blend it. See, the blendability kasi ng marker is you have to be wet, wet, wet. And same principles na watercolor. Pero so, if you have to blend this, kailangan you have to work really fast. Yeah. Kasi it dries down so fast. So pag like na to yun na yung first layer mo, tapos naglagay ka ulit, kita mo yung chisel na tip ng yeah. marker. So if you work really fast, you need better. Practice. This makes perfect. And also, good thing about Kure is this. Look, it's a refill. I have this. I have three refills here. It's oatmeal, warm gray one, and warm gray three. Look, oh. Refills work this way. You open it, you cap it, and you just pour that. That's how it works, basically. True. Mas madali makahanap ng refill nito kaysa sa touch yes. markers. That's what you heard actually. Yeah. So you can buy these and this on Jolly's, Chalmers, and Joyce. Of course. Put it away. Put it away. Okay, lang ba yung materials natin yun? Yeah? Wait, there's more. <gasps> so ano ba yan yeah? Electric eraser. So electric so, eraser. So it makes this all. <laughs> So like most people in our block call it Bororot because it's the sound like 
<laughs> gets ba? That's so bro, no see niya hapon nag draft. Yeah, it's super distracting. So it works the same as the super hard from Pentel. It uses ink from tracing, from tracing paper. Color pencil. Yeah. Also, you can buy refills from Joyce Dolly's yeah. You can check. So pinakai balang niya from this and this. This one's very for details talaga. Yeah. If you have like the small ones na kapag kanya re ito yung ginamit mo. Natanggal yung buong drawing yeah. niya. Yeah. Kasi super laki niya. Plus this one's for details. Like, you don't even have to work Yeah, out. with the erasing shield and yeah. everything. Kasi this one, you just have Pero okay. yun, may issue ako dito. Ano? Kasi alam mo ba, yung eraser nito na nabibili natin sa mga 3Js natin, it's actually dirty Why? for me. Why? 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 paper for me. I mean, hindi naman. Siguro ako lang. Kasi mas yung mawa. Pero like, this is what I do. I take this gray eraser, I cut it into pieces, and I fit it in here as a refill. Effort. Yes, right? <laughs> Pero like, it's so much cleaner. Kasi pansinin mo ito, pag ito binura mo, it's so much cleaner than that. Actually. So if you do that, Pero dahan dahan ka na, this is super hard eraser kasi. So if you do that, It may... takes a lot of time actually. Yeah. Kapag yung bumili ka ng maliliit, mas matagal siya magbura. Yeah. Kasi nga, magsispread around yung ink sa paper. Pero ingat ka lang kasi this is super hard eraser. So if you use this on a tracing paper, baka pabutas. Pabutas. Nangyayara sa akin yun once actually. Shout out to my bro. I'm sorry. So, ano pa ba materials natin yun? I think that's it. That's it? Yay! Don't forget to subscribe! Like the button <laughs> down there. Share it with your friends. Woo! Ah! Fart! <laughs> <laughs>